I, I was very fortunate earlier on this year to spend time with um, Dan Wyden. Oh, yeah. And one of the stories that he told me is about how he has the statue in all his agencies where he says, walk in stupid every day. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's really <coughs> for me, every single day is about learning something. Welcome to another episode of The Art of Individuality with Between 10 and 5, presented by Glenn Fedech. We're interviewing creative mavericks in the industry. Today we have Kulisa Deshane, who is Executive Creative Director of Joe Public, the largest independent advertising agency in the country, I believe. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Thank you well very done. much. Thank you for joining us on the show today. Fantastic. Thank you for inviting me. It's lovely to have you here. Mm. Kalisa, tell us, what, was, what have been the most defining moments in your career? Um, I probably would have to say when I first moved to Johannesburg and when I first moved to Joe Public, I mean, um, within something like two months, we lost our biggest client at that time, which was CTM. So I moved from FCB to Joe Public. And Joe Public lost their biggest client and yeah. had to retrench half the agency yeah. within the first two months. And I think it was not only my defining moment, but it was also the agency's defining moment. Because at that point, we could either die or we could, you know, survive. And, and yeah. the fact that I'm here tells you that yeah. we did the latter. And you've also gone through, the agency itself has gone through quite a, um, a bunch of changes. You were owned by International for a while and then you, yeah. kind of, you bought your shares back, right? Yeah. So that's basically what happened. I mean, when we lost CTM, um, we always say when you're at your lowest, it's where you have to dig the deepest and you have to be the most honest. Um, at that time, um, our chief creative officer now, Pepe Murray, who was known for wearing bells in his shoes and having long hair, yeah. decided to drop the facade. Yeah. Um, and he basically cut his hair and we went through this whole thing where we just tried to find our purpose and decide why we come to work in the morning. And when we defined that, the first thing that we had to do in accordance with that was to lose our tie with these international partners that really didn't have anything to do with our culture. Mm. And, and has South Africa presented new opportunities for you or different opportunities? And how do you see, see the landscape here? I think it's been, it's been incredible. Being an independent agency for me is, is really more than anything. It's about the agility. You know, we, we, don't, we don't have to go through freaking capex in order to get an intern a computer. Yeah. Um, but more than that, I think it's also just about the fact that you get to write your own destiny. There is, no, there is no big man who says to you that this is how KPIs are done, this is how, this is how brainstorms are done. Everything is decided by yourselves. And so whether you win, whether you lose, um, whether you take risks, it's your houses on the line. And, and that's comes with a great deal of accountability. Yeah. And tell me about a little bit about your team culture. You guys have just moved into a new building that's kind of brought all the different parts of the agency into yeah. one. Um, how important is that team culture and the individuals in the team as well? How important is that? I think it's paramount. And, um, and it's quite an interesting thing because our philosophy at Joe Public is all about growth. So um, growth of our clients, which feeds the growth of our people, which ultimately feeds the growth of our country. So the funniest thing about that is that we grew really quickly um, to the size of agency that we are now. So when we were at our previous premises, which was Design Quarter, you know, we, we, we were just all over the place because there was not one single building that could accommodate us. I always make a joke and I say sometimes you'd, 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 you'd think, flip, we haven't got a strategy for this. And then you walk outside the building and you think, flip, how far do I have to walk? And you yeah. decide, actually, maybe I don't need strategy. Yeah. <laughs> um, but now, you know, now we're all in the same building. And that's incredible for the team culture. Also in the context of, of growth, you know, because a, a strategist can come up with an idea because now he's brainstorming with the guys just upstairs as opposed to being very, very far away in terms of proximity. So I think it's been great for the culture. And only now are we really starting to mold and build our culture. Kalisa, your, what are your goals for the next, I know there's that always that thing, what's happening three, five, and ten years from now, mm -hmm. um, but what are your goals in the short and medium term future? And where do you see yourself eventually when you look back at your life? What do you like? I think, I think, I think for me, um, I, I, I do this thing day to day. I, every single day is an adventure. Um, I, I was very fortunate earlier on this year to spend time with um, Dan Wyden. Oh, yeah. And one of the stories that he told me is about how he has the statue in all his agencies where he says, walk in stupid every day. Yeah. 
Yeah. So it's, it's, it's really for me, every single day is about learning something. Um, we, we have great people around us. We meet great people all the time. And I think for us, for as long as we, we have that scholarly mindset, um, our work will always get better because we're always willing to learn something. So that's important. But from a personal point of view, in terms of looking at the past, I would love, I would love for an impact to be made as far as transformation is concerned in the industry. Um, it's, it's something that whether I've been at Lurie Chairmanship or whether I've been at different platforms um, from Creative Circle to other boards, the one thing for me that we have an opportunity to do right now is to make our industry reflective of the people that it advertises to. Yeah. And, um, and that excites me. And if we can make an impact, I already believe that we're making more of an impact now than we have made in the past, but I definitely believe it's not enough. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if, 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 we can, if we can leave that kind of legacy where any kid, yeah. no matter where they come from, can come and contribute to this industry, which is the best industry in the world, I believe. Klisa, thank you so much for spending time with us today. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure having you here. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah.